Okay, uh, in this video, well, this video was actually inspired by a student, okay? Uh, and I believe it is the best lecture ever done on boxing, all right? The best lecture ever done on boxing. Okay, let me tell you first what the student said, or what he, what he, uh, what he, yeah, what he said, what he suggested. Uh, after training sessions, I generally ask uh, if there's anything that a student wants to do, uh, if there's anything that um, they want to work on more. Uh, and he said, well, he would like to do different combinations, right? Different combinations. So I asked him to give me an example, and he essentially said, you know, like double jab and right hook. That's basically all he said, you know, like double jab and right hook, and like that. Now, the reason why he said double jab and right hook is because that's all he could say. Every other major combination we worked on and continue to work on. Now, mind you, this individual is about 5'8", right, and a super heavyweight, 5'8", super heavyweight. He's not going to be doing much um, double jabbing. He's, because he has to get inside, right? He may double jab to get inside, but essentially, right? I mean, he's jabbing. He needs to work on his defense. He needs to work on his left hooks. He needs to work on his body shots. Not necessarily throwing a right hook from an orthodox position. But he reminded me of something that I think is the issue with a lot of people. And they don't understand boxing. This is the problem with a lot of people, okay? Boxing is a development art. It is a development art. It is not an art where fighters are made by addition. Okay? I'm going to repeat because I want to stay, um, I want to stay uh, 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 on subject, right? And it can be complex, so I'm trying to make it very simple. Boxing, unlike many other martial arts, and to me it is primarily a martial art, Boxing, unlike other martial arts, is a development art, right? It is not an art where the fighter is made by addition. So what do I mean by that? When you look at uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, right, you have belts, and each belt comes with more techniques. You are developing, or you should be, but each belt comes with more techniques. You are adding on uh, to this particular person um, and that is the way that it is taught. Karate the same way. Now, sure, you assume that a green belt is better than a white belt, and a brown belt is better than a green belt, and a black belt is better than a brown belt, right? No matter how slight the difference might be. But there is addition, right? So a white belt learns more, he's a green belt, or whatever belt, right? Green belt learns more, he's brown belt, brown belt learns more, black belt, okay? In boxing, that is not how it works. In boxing, that's, that's not how it works, okay? Now, when you look at wrestling, wrestling is less structured, like karate and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is less, less structured, but it is more structured, right, than even boxing. So there is collegiate, there is, uh, there is um, uh, 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 JV, and you are expected, it's not just the age, but you are expected to learn more. Now, but not as much as karate, not as much as Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So what I want to do is I want to stick with like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and karate and what people generally think is the martial arts and how you build a martial arts a, a fighter, any fighter, right? Whether it's boxing or whether it's uh, wrestling or, or whatever it is, MMA, right? Karate, Jiu-Jitsu, Judo, right? Usually it's adding on. In boxing, it is addition. I mean, excuse me, not addition. It is development. Development. So in jiu-jitsu or karate, you hear he is a white belt, he's a blue belt, he's a green belt, brown belt, black belt. In boxing, what do you hear? He's been boxing for two years. He's been boxing for three years. He's been boxing for five years. This denotes development. You develop. You don't look for more techniques. You develop the techniques you have, and that, that itself makes you a good boxer. Now listen to what I'm saying. You need to understand this. Everyone, I don't care who you are, you need to understand why you may get bored with boxing and why you may misunderstand boxing. All right? If you look at Floyd Mayweather Jr., 
all-time great fighter, one of the all-time greatest fighters, right? One of the all-time greatest fighters. Every punch that he used as a pro, he knew probably the first two years of his boxing. I'm going to repeat that. Every punch that he used as a pro, he likely knew the first two years of his boxing. Okay? A pro boxer doesn't know any more punches, a good pro boxer does not know any more punches than a man or a, a boy or a man knows after he's been boxing for about a year. Right? Again, I want you, I'm going to say this for the third time, and I'm going to say it another way. A guy who has been boxing, or a person who has been boxing for a year, knows all the same punches as, for example, Errol Spence. Uh, Errol Spence. Right? The difference is development. Development. You do things over and over and over and over in boxing, and that is what leads you to being a good boxer. As opposed to learning different techniques, different techniques, and maybe not even developing those techniques, but learning more techniques so you can be ranked and promoted. Okay? So, your onus as a boxer, essentially, is to do two things. Develop a defense that is difficult to penetrate and an offense that is difficult to defend against. Okay? Again, your job, what you should be trying to do as a boxing student, right, and trying to instill as a boxing teacher, is a defense that is difficult to penetrate and an offense that is difficult to defend against. The only way to do that is to develop your skills, to develop the small amount of skills that boxing actually has. Boxing, if I am generous, may have eight punches. May have eight punches, right? So Floyd Mayweather, Gennady Golovkin, uh, Muhammad Ali, um, Sugar Ray Robinson, all of them, all the greatest fighters of Bertrand Duran, they didn't know any more punches than someone who's been boxing for a year. Really, they didn't know any more punches than someone who has been boxing for a year. What they did was develop speed with those punches, power with those punches, and became opportunistic when to throw those punches. They were more deliberate. They were deliberate when they threw these punches, intentional when they threw these punches. So what is the big difference? Well, the big difference is not that you learn more punches than someone. The difference is can you, uh, can you defend, right? Uh, when you see punches, do you blink a great deal? Do you close your eyes? Do you turn your head? How's your stamina? How is your cardio? Are you so nervous that you can't use your skills? These are things that are not developed by adding techniques. These are things that are developed by sparring. So boxing people, you have to understand, is not an art where people are made better by the addition of techniques. They are made better by the development, development of technique, by the development of just a few techniques. Boxing, if we look at it as a martial art, and I look at it primarily as a martial art, boxing has the least techniques to master than any other martial art. It has the least techniques to master than any other martial art. But yet it is one of the most devastating martial arts if done well. And no real self-defense combative system, right? I don't really like to use the word system because it makes it sound like there's like this state way or this static way you need to do things. And the street doesn't work like that. But I'll just call it a system, you know, just to kind of to keep this video from being too long. But you cannot have a combative system a real self-defense system without using many of the dynamics that are found in boxing. That is how really great boxing is, the core, the essence of boxing. But there are only about eight punches in the whole system of boxing, only about eight. Now, I know many of you are going to start, you know, counting and all like that. Listen, man, if you want to go do that, you want to be neurotic about that, you go ahead. But there's only about eight punches, as opposed to 600 techniques in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu from white to black. 
600 in Gracie Jiu Jitsu from white to black, which is utterly ridiculous. It's utterly ridiculous, and I, I really think that it's a money thing to, to feel that you need to learn to, to, impl to, to impart upon your students that they need to learn 600 techniques before they can get a black belt. It's, it's utterly ridiculous. But I've already said that in other videos about that, that money game uh, with, with BJJ, so I'm just going to move on. But the fact of the matter is, is that boxing is an art that, you de that is based on development, not the addition of techniques. So when that, when that young man mentioned uh, one combination, because he couldn't think of anything else, when he mentioned that combination, but keep in mind, and I'm not mentioning his name because I want him to understand what I'm saying, and, is, and I don't want to be, it's not a mean thing, but I believe by me making this video for you and for him, people will understand where I'm coming from, all right? He has not sparred or moved around with anyone really other than myself. So he has not developed even the techniques that we work on well, right? We're still working on his defense. We're still working on his cardio. So all of these things goes into making a good boxer, not a double jab and a right hook, which is not a combination that people really should be spending a great deal of time dealing with or even, or even teaching, right? Maybe a double jab, but a right hook, nah, you don't really need it. I mean, you get inside, you can throw it, but throwing it from the outside, you don't do. You can throw a, a lead hook from whatever lead you're in, and that's a little easier as long as you have your rear hand up. But he was coming up with a combination that was obscure, right? Because he couldn't think of any other combination because we covered most of them and we continue to cover them. But it made me realize that he probably is not the only one who thinks that variety makes a boxer. No, development makes a boxer. To hammer this home a little more, if you look at Floyd Mayweather Jr., Floyd Mayweather Jr. does his boxing routine. Now, when he does his boxing routine, many times, let me make sure that my time is right, I'm expecting a student. Uh, when he does his boxing routine, right, he can do it with his eyes closed if he wanted to. Now, why is it that he can do that routine that many of you see as being flashy and you see as being very complex? Why is it that he can do it. Well, he can do it because he's been doing it for over 20 years. He's been doing that routine for over 20 years, right? So if we say that his, his, uh, his, uh, his uh, uh, career has been at least 20 years, he was doing his pro career at least 20 years, he was probably doing that routine at least three to four years before he turned professional. So let's talk about 25 years he's doing that routine. Boom, bam, 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 Right? Now, d did Floyd look at Roger or look at his father and say, I'm bored with this routine? No, because he understands the routine is for development. It's for development, okay? That's what it's about. If you are a person who gets bored easily, if you are a person who doesn't like redundancy, you are quite likely not going to be a good boxer. You might be able to beat up some of your friends in your, in your mother's garage, in your parents' garage. You might be able to beat up some of your friends, you know, whip on some of your friends, you know, after, uh, after, um, uh, 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 what do you call it, um, op um, where they go, go for drinks after work or whatever, family hour or whatever, or it's after hours or whatever, whatever it is, right? You might be able to do that. But you will not be a good boxer if you don't understand what entails, what it entails. What is it that makes a good boxer? It makes, what makes a good boxer is doing something over and over and over and over and over again to develop a defense that is difficult to penetrate and an offense that is difficult to, pe difficult to defend against. That is what boxing is about. Lastly, I want to give you an example of the boxing fan and why I am not at all interested in the sport of boxing. I am interested in boxing as a martial art, not at all interested in the sport itself, uh, boxing, at all. It bores me to death. If you knew how many fights I watch of boxing, you would be like, why does this guy even say he love box loves boxing? I love boxing for the reason Mike Tyson loved boxing, for the reason Jack Dempsey loved boxing. I love boxing as a self-defense system as a self-defense system. Pugilist. I'm a pugilist. I am a fighter, a boxer, or a boxer and a teacher of pugilism. I teach boxing for self-defense, a martial art that is designed to knock you out, to separate you from your consciousness. That's what I teach. The sport of boxing doesn't interest me at all. It bores me to death.
right? Now, I want to bring to your attention uh, something um, that makes today's boxing fan an issue. And this will go right, and this will finish up this video and go right into what I'm talking about when I talk about redundancy. Let's say there is a person who has a boxing channel. Now they have a boxing channel and they're essentially showing you boxing techniques. So they say, I'm going to show you what I do, right? I'm going to show you what I do. So they're southpaw, right? And they show you a boxing position similar to this. Now, first of all, you're not going to like that because it's not fancy, right? But their boxing position is similar to this. So they're going to show you, make a video of that. Then they're going to make a video showing you the, the right jab, right? Video showing you the left cross, the right hook. They're going to show you all these punches, these videos. So now they got 10 videos. Then they're going to show you how to defend against those videos. They're not going to show you a lot of slipping. They're going to show you cover, how to cover, right? So now we're talking about maybe 13, 14, let's say 15 videos. And then they're going to show you how to spar out of that stance, just covering, very basic. They're going to show you how to do that, right? Okay, so now they have 20 videos showing you how to stand in a southpaw uh, position, how to throw punches from a southpaw position, how to defend and cover, not slip, not do a whole lot of slipping, right? But how to cover from the southpaw position. And they're going to show you how to spar from the southpaw position. Now they've got 20 videos, that's it, from this position, 20 videos. Most of you will not subscribe to that man's channel. You will not subscribe to that man's channel. You will not. He has 20 videos and his style is very basic. You will not subscribe. You will not subscribe. You will not subscribe. You will not subscribe to that man's videos. You will not know who he is. You will subscribe to another man's videos and he will have 200,000 subscribers because he's showing you all of this. Right? You will subscribe to him. The guy who has 20 videos from this position, showing you the punches from this position, showing, showing you how to cover from this position, and showing you how to spar from this position, right? And move forward and, and punch with power and speed from this position. He will have 20 videos total. You will not subscribe to his, his channel. You will not because this style bores you. He takes off his mask. He takes off his mask. This man takes off his mask. This boring guy who boxes like this, who just showed you basic punches, who showed you how to cover and showed you how to spar, how to move forward, not very fancy, just move forward, move back, move to the side and walk your man down, how to cover punches and block punches as you're walking him down. That man takes off his disguise to reveal who he is to you and he is Earl Spence Jr. And you don't subscribe to him because he is basic and he is boring and only has 20 videos up. This is why I'm not at all interested in the sport of boxing and think that today's boxing fan is a major problem. So, boxing is a development art. It is not an art where people uh, are built by adding on. Take your time, develop your skills, spar, 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 spar. Your ranking will come, you will know what your ranking is when you're able to spar all kinds of people and not get your ass beat by any of them, then you'll know. My name is Safe Carmen, Walking Encyclopedia of Uma Fight Camp, Walking Encyclopedia of Martial Arts. See you next video.